In this video, I will share with you 5 transitions that can enhance any video, so let's dive right into it. We are going to learn these 5 transitions on CapCut for desktop. To create this transition, begin by downloading the overlay video using the link provided in the description. First, click the import button and select the video you downloaded. Drag it to the timeline and then remove the part you don't need. Choose the part of the video that you like the most for the transition. Position the overlay so that it covers the part between two videos. Now select Brighten Blend Mode. To make your transition better, go to the Audio option and find a sound effect that matches your transition. Now align it with the overlay. After editing, your transition should look like this. Now I will show you how to create this mask transition. First, add two videos to the timeline. Position the second video above the first video as I did. Now click on the second video and then click on mask option. Select the film strip mask and then close it and position it as I did. After that add a keyframe to the beginning of the video. Now after a few frames open the mask and change its position. To make the transition better, choose one of the input animations. I chose the puzzle animation. Increase the duration to make the animation last longer. After editing, your transition should look like this. This is my favorite transition and in next part of the video you will learn how to create it. Click on stock videos and select black background. Decrease the opacity and then select a background color in the canvas. After that, add your text and align it with your video. Select the font you like. Now enlarge the text and then choose the text color. Click on animation option and then select zoom out to animation. Adjust the duration to your liking and then export the video. Now you need to remove everything from the timeline, then import your two videos and the video you recently exported. Add to the timeline the video you want to be first and then add a video with the text above it. Now remove the part of the video where the text is faded. Enlarge the text so that only the color of the text is visible and then add a keyframe. After a few frames return the video to its original position. After you've done that, your video should look like this. Now go to Cutout and select Chroma Key option. Place the color picker on the text color and then adjust the strength and shadows so that the text becomes transparent. It's very important to align the videos. 
Now remove the part of the video you don't need and then export it. Remove everything from timeline and remove videos you don't need for editing. Now you need to click on import and select the video you exported. Add your videos to the timeline and then position them as I did. Click on the video with text and then select the cutout option. After that place the color picker on the color around the text and then adjust the strength and shadows so that part becomes transparent. Now you can add a fade out animation to the first video. After editing my video looks like this. You can add a sound effect to make your transition even better. You can make this transition with color negative effect and here is how it looks. First, add your videos to the timeline. Now click on effects and then in nightclub section select color negative effect. Position the effect as I did and then remove the part you don't need for the transition. At the beginning of the effect, decrease the intensity of the color and then add a keyframe. Now, in the middle of the effect, increase the color to 100% and then decrease it again at the end of the effect. After editing, your transition should look like this. Creating a freeze frame transition is a great way to make your video more interesting. And now I'm going to show you how to create it. First, position the video as I did. Now click the second video and then freeze the first frame. Go to cutout option and then select auto cutout. After that, choose the input animation that you like. Now place the rest of the video above the freeze frame. After that, freeze the first frame again. It's very important that you position the videos as I did. Now add a fade in animation. Set the duration of the animation to 2 seconds, then remove the part after the animation. After that, position the video as I did. For now, my transition looks like this. To make it even better, I would add a deep push sound effect. After editing, my video looks like this. Share your favorite transition in the comments and don't forget to visit the links in the video description to download the latest version of CapCut.